everybody. It's technically still morning. I'm looking at the clock. It's 1042 AM, August 2nd. I only know that because it's my birthday. So here we'll break away right here. I got this cute little voicemail from my dad this morning when he and mom called when, and I wasn't near the phone, so I didn't hear it right away. Yes, I did call them back and talk to them for a bit. But he left me this cute little message. Fun fact, my parents, one or both of them call and they do this every single year, all 57 years of my life. So here, you can listen here. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, wonderful daughter. Happy birthday to you. Talk to you sometime today, maybe, uh, when you get to your phone and read the message. And hear my beautiful singing. Bye. Love you. Got it. Um, so we're going to actually get um, on the road and go for a little drive for a couple hours and maybe drive to the coast, get some lunch out or something like that. Um, the garage floor is still drying and we can't really close the door all the way for till like Tuesday. Um, everything's locked up and there's nothing in the garage for anybody to steal but an old hammer. So if you really want it, have at it. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, you can't get in the house and we've got security cameras everywhere. So if you do get in, we've got your face on camera. Um, well, by the time you post it, we'll be done anyway. Won't we? Yeah, we'll be finished. We'll be finished. But you know, that's yeah. not the point. Okay. Anyway, we've got security. Yes, security. Um, all right. So we're going to hit the road and we will bring you with us if we do anything fun or shopping or, you know, whatever we do. I don't know what we're doing. Can't do much, you know, hello pandemic. So anyway, we'll be back. couple pictures here that I could take from the car um, even if we wanted to stop and get a better shot there was no place to stop we're in Cape Cape Kiwanda Kiwanda K-I-W-A-N-D-A um, yeah um, near the Oregon coast and I have to tell you all for um, a world in a country that's in the midst of a pandemic I know Bob and I are out driving and we're kind of contributing it's very people-y out there. There's a lot of people walking around, not only a lot of people visiting, um, not a lot of people driving through like we're doing. They're stopped, they're walking around, and they're no masked. There's a lot of people. More than I expected. Probably not as many as normal, but more than I expected. So we found some place to stop and eat some food. We stopped at a local Fred Meyer to use the facilities and get some food. And we literally, we've just been in the car. This is the first time we've gotten out of the car, but look at the view behind me. It's pretty good, huh? Happy birthday to me. Hey guys, it is Monday, Monday, August 3rd, 2.41 PM. I haven't vlogged all day today, I've been busy. <laughs> so I edited the uh, vlog for last week, but it took me three times of starting and stopping my computer because for whatever reason, the screensaver I was using was um, causing the computer to freeze. And after much Googling and much trying of different things, I switched screensavers and now it's working fine. Yeah, it's Monday, did I say that? <laughs> um, I, but I did get it done and I got my writing for the week done and everything scheduled and posted and all of that jazz. I also got Ta-da, the wall behind me emptied. And we're all, all ready to hang the pegboard as soon as uh, hubby has time. And I got things mostly, I think, organized into the bins and trays that I wanna use that came in. I have a few Dollar Tree things that will work with a clip that I wanna use too. I need to make sure I don't lose these because I think I'm probably going to have some parts I'm going to want to take back. Um, I do have some of these elastic bands, but I think, I think these are, I think I already had these, but I have some of these other, um, what are they called? They're for the, 
cat is. Um, I don't know. Anyway, they look like this. I'm going to be using a couple of them, but I, I, there's too many, I think. So I, I'm going to want to return some of them. Okay, folks, we're out for our evening walk before dinner. It's warm, but it's not as hot as it's been. And to be honest with you, we're both dragging today. It feels so like Monday. I'd like to go take a nap. Right. Which is funny because I know we worked on the garage floor this weekend, but literally yesterday we did nothing but plant our butts in a car and go drive around. Yeah. But we're both dragging today. Okay, so I, so I got everything in the garage. I can get in the garage. Ooh, hold on. So that pile, those, basically all the smalls. There's his big toolbox and the table saw and the chop saw. They are too heavy for me. And even though the toolbox has four wheels on it, it's too big. I can't, and heavy. I can't move it by myself. So yeah, we have to wait till he's done working. But the good news is it'll be a lot less of a process than he thought because I had some time this afternoon and I got all the smalls in here. So the floor is dry. It's not sticky. There's still a couple of loose pieces of, you know, the garage confetti, AKA garage herpes <laughs> um, on the floor, but that's fine. Um, he's gonna power wash the driveway this weekend because, uh, yeah, there you go. Cause there's some of the dry cleaner. That's not epoxy. That's the, some of the stuff we used to clean the garage. It didn't quite rinse away um, completely. Hopefully he can get it off of the power washer. So, but after we, that'll be this weekend after we load the garage and we also are gonna be taking down those this weekend. And my parents have been quarantining at home as have we, as you know. Um, so they're asking if they can come help. So I'm gonna leave that up to Bob. I'm okay with it as long as nobody's been traveling or exposed to people they shouldn't be. So anyway, I am gonna go inside now. I'm gonna finish this and have another one. And yeah, I'm not tired anymore. Good news. <laughs> so anyway, and I got a lot of steps in, I think. Let's see. You have almost 5,000 steps now, which I didn't have that many before, so it's all good. All right, on to the next. Good morning. Technically, it's still morning. It's Wednesday, August 5th, I think, 10.47 um, a.m. Obviously, I'm in the car. So Wednesday seems to be my run to the post office day where I drop off Etsy orders and check out the P.O. box and stuff. And I have two more paper grocery sacks full of purge stuff, so I need to pick up more boxes to pack them with. There's the mail person. Um, and no, I can't just stop the car and ask her to pick if she'll take the boxes because they won't do that. Um, anyway, I need to check on the P.O. box and I need to get some party mailboxes anyway, so I'm going to go run down there.
Hey guys, it is Thursday, August 6th, I think, just after 2.30 in the afternoon. Anyway, obviously I'm out getting the mail. I don't think there's anything in here for me. I think it's all for the son-in-law. Um, yep, <laughs> he still gets mail here, even though they have their own house now. Uh, mostly it's just junk, but anyway, he always tells me, why don't you throw it away? Because I enjoy it annoying the crap out of him and giving him his junk mail. Anyway, I got a couple slow stitching projects today. If you're watching this clip, you saw some clips of that. I got another meditation journal page done. I got two more pages of my slow stitch books sewn together, which is amazing because if you could see my art room, it is a disaster. I moved everything that was on the shelves and in the bins on the small bits bank wall off and sorted, organized, purged, wrapped up two more purge boxes. They're listed right now in the Etsy shop. Link is below. Um, but it means that there is stuff on every conceivable surface in the art room and there's not much room to work on art. But I did find a little space, so that works. And yeah, it's all good. Bob has a late afternoon meeting, I think, for work. And then we're gonna head over to our weekly date night, AKA the grocery store. Hey guys, it is 11, like 23 or something on Friday, August 7th. I am headed out for a walk. Husband's upstairs working. Kids are all coming over for dinner later, but um, the house is already clean. Dishes are done. Before I have lunch, I think I'm gonna just go for a walk. I'm having one of those sort of blah, blah, blah days. I think especially because of COVID, you all get it. So anyway, I thought an invigorating little walk in the fresh air. I do have a mask because I'm guessing because it's Friday lunchtime and you know, kids aren't in school that it's probably gonna be people-y down near the park. So I'm probably gonna need this, but I'm going to turn on one of my playlists and listen to some music, probably Andrea Bocelli and go for a walk and get some fresh air and some vitamin D and then go back and have lunch and then see what else we can get up to. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. August 8th, I think, 9.06 a.m. We are getting ready for another day of working on the garage and stuff. And hopefully at some point today, we get my pegboard hung up finally. I've been waiting like a week. So, getting impatient. But.
Hey guys, so you saw me arranging my pegboard. I got to tell you, I haven't even like used it yet. Love it. I can see everything. I can get to the washi tape real easy. I can see all my trims. It also helps me keep control of how many trims I have because I'm one of these people that if you don't give me a designated capacity space to store stuff in for art supplies, especially, then I will just keep keep adding and adding and adding. And so I need to limit myself, which is why this kind of system or the drawers and bins work for me. Um, plus I can find everything, um, which I love. And if it's in a bin or a drawer, it's labeled. These aren't labeled yet. I don't think at the moment they need to be, but love it. Um, I also have some surprising results to my latest round of fabric dye, which to be honest, I've lost track of how many days they were in the dye. I want to say like four or five days, maybe longer, but I don't know exactly. Um, I might be able to tell myself when I review the tape. I don't know. Or uh, the video. It's tape. It's not tape anymore. It's video. Um, anyway, surprising results, which I'm going to switch the camera around and we'll this go. This first over. one is uh, basil. It was supposed to be a purple gray. And no, I don't, you don't need to adjust your camera. It's like a light beige color. So it's not purple gray at all. So I don't know if I did something wrong or if there's a different way to process the dye. I have no idea. I just know this is the color I got with my standard boiling the crap out of it, try to get the color out thing. This is rosemary. It's nearly an identical color. It's supposed to be yellow green. It is not yellow green. So again, I don't know what I did wrong. But to be honest, I dumped both of these. I didn't even save them. I'm going to let the fabrics dry. I'm gonna take swatches and add them to my color book. And I'm gonna make a notation that I must have done something wrong. Um, but yeah, they're not great colors. And I have one more of those. Should have been on. green. Can you see that that's almost the exact same color the fabric was when it went in there? Barely any change. So yeah, I dumped that one too. Now the surprisingly good one was blueberries. Oh my God, people, yes, I saved this and I have more fabric dyeing. Look at that color. Holy crap. I love that, that's blueberries. So yummy. With so. all things in art and life, some successes, some failures. So, but I love the blueberry one. It definitely is what I would call a dark blue purple and it will lighten a bit as it dries, but I don't think it's gonna lighten a whole lot. Um, and I'll be taking swatches of all of them and I will be making notations on the three sort of leafy ones, right? The spinach, the rosemary, the basil. There might be a different way to process the plant material to get the color out, to extract the color, other than what I normally do, which is boil the crap out of it. So I'll have to do some research. Anyway, so that's it for today. And then loving, again, loving my bag board. Um, and I have a few more things in the purge bin again, and there's, I think six boxes again, uh, in the Etsy store of purge boxes. There are, um, descriptions in each one of the listings of, um, the type of materials that are in each box. And, um, you know, most of the time when, um, you buy them, it barely covers postage, especially if you spend $35 or more, then you get free postage and, it barely covers the cost of the materials inside, if it does at all, but that's okay because I just want them to go to a good home where they're going to get used. So anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I'm going to sit and drink some water and chill for a bit and just relax. I think we're. I think I'm going to end the day here, the week here, and the day here. Um, it's been a busy, crazy day. We got the pegboard hung. We got a bunch of stuff in the garage done. Um, we have two to three weeks at least before the garage cabinets come in. We just found out there's a delay in the shipment because, you know, hello COVID. Um, but that's okay because my husband has some sorting uh, to go through things that were pulled down off the wall. And he wants to sort of start um, gathering like materials together and kind of going through his stash of stuff down there and seeing what he can keep and what else he can get rid of and all of that jazz. So it's a big job, but that's okay. He can take his time now and, and get it done. And he has time if he does want to paint in the garage, which he's kind of debating back and forth about, then he has time to get it done. So anyway, I think that's it for the moment. It's been a interesting week. Um, 
COVID is giving us more interesting weeks than not, I think. Not necessarily interesting in a good way, but you know, it is what it is. We're just keeping on, keeping on, right? Baby steps, that's the most important thing is that we keep moving. So I hope you're having a good one. Um, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I sure would appreciate it. And if you can support the free content here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, not just for me, for all of your favorite creatives, most of them have a way to support them financially, whether it's Patreon or an Amazon affiliate link or uh, an Etsy shop or something else. They're usually in their video descriptions. If you can't find a way to support them, check um, the description for a way to contact them and ask. Um, you, if you're on Facebook, you can message them and ask. I know I would appreciate it and they would too. So that all being said, don't forget to go out and have a great day. Have a great week and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.